Congratulations, you won the Vanquisher. So now a lot of people are asking, uh, how should I build it? I want to spend some time today walking through some options. And of course, that's going to depend on how many you're going to build, your base layout, the turrets you have to support it. But there are some things that seem to have emerged already as common sense and preferred options. So we're going to go through them and then some, some alter alternate ways of building the Vanquisher. Let's first look at weapons. The obvious choice is to build the Cyclone Launcher on every weapon slot you have here, since you can only have seven weapons. That's assuming somehow you can protect yourself against mortars. Otherwise, maybe you want to consider putting Gales in some of these slots here. And I would go with Gale 1, despite it having less uh, salvo, a salvo of 5 versus a salvo of 7 from the Gale 3. But since you don't get the benefit from the, the, the explosive resistance, Gale 1 should do the job. I mean, so that, that's, I either go all launchers or I'd go with two Gale 1s, depending on what you have there to, on the other ships, to defend against mortars. The first special to use, obviously, is the new one, the emission generator. The most important feature in this special is the multi-shot plus two stat. That pretty much means each launcher, instead of having a multi-shot of four, will now have six. So you're adding 50% damage to all of your launchers. So instead of doing the base 10,800 10, damage, now it's going to be doing over 15,000 damage per launcher. And that's before we add any other special, any other buff. The supercharging that special is not as important because, as you've seen, the shockwave in the cyclone launcher does negligible damage. It's only a thousand, so you really don't need to worry too much about supercharge because most of the damage will be from the hits, not the shockwave. Since the shockwave is not that important, uh, we, we shouldn't consider using interception system, for instance, for additional supercharge. Unless you build the Vanquisher with antipodes or some older launcher, it really has no point adding more shockwaves when they only do a thousand damage, right? You can't even add fusion chargers anymore here. So that's why the new special is so important. Instead, we could consider something like the cryo battery. Now, the cryo battery is a great special. Uh, it pretty much creates a nice field uh, every few seconds. That ice field lasts for 10 seconds and it debuffs speed, uh, turn speed, and all the defenses in the incoming enemies. The only downside of the cryo battery is that it triggers the resonance field on the other ship. So the likes of the Vendetta, if you have it with the resonance uh, capacitor, will actually get some buffs that will override the debuffs and in the end they, they come up ahead. So Great against Revenges, we'll see about the new Conqueror Hall that Kicks I said will come in August, but not great against the Vendetta, so it's your choice, really. Next up, the Agility System 3, or even 4 if you have, even better. That one will give you resistance to pinch rockets, and also some decent evade. I mean, this hole starts at zero evade, but now you can get 41% from... A fully retrofitted Agility System 3, you can get close to 50% with Agility System 4. Um, so that's a, a good thing to have. The main reason we're not using Shielded Electronics is because that one adds our weight based on the armor. And due to the super high armor in the Vanquisher, when you do that, you immediately go overweight. So you, you can't use any specials that add armor weight or they're just going to kill your ship. So let's go back to Agility System 3. The next special will depend on your configuration in your base defense. Uh, the Resonance Capacitor is a great choice because it's going to buff the damage from all launchers by 36%, uh, bringing it from 15,000 that we have now to very close to 20,000. Um, the problem is you, can, you should only use this special if you're going to have some other ship doing uh, a field that will activate it. So you need a friendly ship in your guard with a field to activate this one. The simplest way of doing that is having two vanquishers near each other. The other way is having a vendetta in your defense 
that has a longer range friendly field that also activates the capacitor. So the only reason we're putting that here is for the extra 36% uh, bonus to all damage types. For the last special, there are a few options. Uh, option A, you could just try to buff your evade a little bit more using evade upgrade. If you do that, you get it to just over 50% or at 50% uh, evade more if you use Agility System 4 instead. The other option is, again, if you insist you want to buff the shockwave, which I don't think is appropriate for this launcher, but if you want to do so, you can go and use Interception System for additional three times supercharge. Or we can go and use the countermeasure loader. I mean, there's two benefits from this special. One of them, it's going to increase even more the efficiency of the two gales I'm using here. But even if you don't use any gales and you go all launchers, you're getting an extra 20% reload for your launches from this special. It's the only way you can buff reload on these weapons. So it's worth it and still keeps your total build time at eight days. So I'm going to go with this setup, um, except I'll try to see if I can free up uh, an agility system four before I do it. Armor. Uh, well, with 500,000 ar base armor, it kind of doesn't make sense to add any armor to the Vanquisher, especially because any armor you add will increase your repair time by a lot. So uh, base repairs at two hours. Let's say you decide to put a bulkhead or something like that. And you're going to bring your repair time from two hours to three hours and 22. So it adds up one hour in a base defense slot. That's going to end up being half an hour. So it's entirely up to you, but you only gain 6,000, which in the big scheme of things is like 1% increase for a 50% increase in repair time. Uh, there's no point in adding any resistance armors here because of the handicap of 100%. None of them will stick. So if you try to put like a C armor in there, you don't get any ballistic defense in here because of the handicap. What you can do though, you can pick any of these D5 armors like the CT, which builds relatively faster than the others. And that would give you some deflection. I mean, given you can only add three of them, so you can get to 20, 60 total deflection. If you think it's worth it, that's your call. What you could consider though is the shockwave plate. Now, some people are preparing your guard ships with launchers on tiger sharks. This will give you resistance to the launchers as it gives you 3000 uh, deflection per plate. So if you add up a few of them, that will give you a good resistance against the launchers. Considering this armor affects not only the shockwave, but also the base hit from the radioactive uh, launcher damage. So in this case, now you don't have any resistance, but you have 9,000 shockwave deflection, which will make a difference against tiger sharks with launchers preparing your guards. So that to me sounds like my final setup. I'm pleased with it. And I'm gonna build it like that. It's 10 days. If I wanna go lighter on the armor and get less deflection, I could go with level one and have my build time down nine hours and 14 hours total. Still pretty reasonable uh, if you consider you can get some tokens here and there. Now positioning is very important. Uh, I'm using the patrol range to simulate the field. So as you can see, my Vanquisher has a capacitor. So I want to activate it with some sort of tactical field. The Vendetta here has a field of 85, which I'm simulating with the white circle here that easily covers the Vanquisher and means that plus 36% uh, damage will be in effect when I'm attacked, right? The field of the Vanquisher itself, it's a 45 range field. So if I decide to put a second Vanquisher anywhere in here, I could, it would be affected as well. Or I could just put a capacitor on this uh, revenge here. And again, it's gonna get a 36% buff from one field and plus 8% from the other field. If the first ship dies, the second field becomes the first and gives it 36%. So that guy will pack a punch uh, based on these fields you can have in here. In my layout, the only place I wouldn't want to put the uh, Vanquisher, I believe for now would be here, unless I move things up a little bit. So this field here 
activates the capacitor and this first ship would get the same buff as is as it is right now i don't think it's quite on it so this ship would have to use some other special or i have to move this one up front to activate a capacitor up here all right that's it for today i hope you enjoy your new defender ship and uh, let's see how it goes over the next few weeks